In today's video, we're gonna cover exactly how much in taxes you should prepare to pay or hold off to the side if you are a reseller or small business owner. I'm gonna cover all of the tax brackets and the standard deduction. Let's jump into it. Yeah, welcome back into the channel, everybody. Officially January 1st, 2024. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you had a safe, wonderful evening. I hope this year is the best ever for you. And we're not going to dilly-dally around. We're going to jump right in to the new tax brackets for 2024. The tax brackets have gone up, which means more money in your pocket. This is a good thing. I'm going to show you the tax bracket percentages and the standard deduction amounts. And this is going to give you a good idea, a basis for what percentage you should put aside or have ready for your amount of income that you make. Now, everybody is different. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a licensed CPA or attorney, so I can't give you official financial advice, but I can show you the percentages, the tax brackets, and the standard deduction. That way you have a good idea. I get asked this a lot in the Facebook group and on social media, so I figured now is no better time to cover it than the first of the year. So let's jump into it. Let's take a look, and hopefully this gives you an idea of where you're going to be at come tax time. Okay, so here we go. This is from Fox Business. I don't use news websites for anything other than just the factual stuff. I don't get into all that politics. But new IRS tax brackets 2024. It's a shift of 5.4%. Let me tell you what that means. Here we go. So first, they announce the standard deduction. Standard deduction is basically the amount you can deduct off your taxes if you don't expense everything out. You just get one standard amount deducted. If you have a lot of expenses, you're a business owner, somebody like me that has shipping and cost of goods and inventory and equipment and contractors and all this different stuff, then it doesn't make sense for me. I want to take all my expenses. But if you don't have a ton of expenses and you're just standard, then you can do this standard deduction, which it was... 27,700 for married couples. It's now 29,200. Um, for individuals, it was 13,850. The new uh, 2024 is 146. So if you're an individual, it's $14,600 worth of deductions. If you don't have more than that, it makes sense for you to take the standard. If you have more in expenses, like give or take around, I don't know, 1200 bucks a month. Uh, if you have more than that in expenses, you would want to expense it out. So that's the standard deductions. Here is the tax brackets for single individuals, not joint filers, not married. So if you make $11,600 up to eleven six, your tax bracket is 10%. Um, remember, this is profit, not your gross sales. This is your profit less your expenses. So if you did $20,000 in sales and you made 10 grand in profit, your tax bracket is less than eleven six. You're going to be 10% of $10,000, you would owe a grand, but you also have expenses. So you would owe much less than $1,000, maybe a couple hundred bucks. You might actually get a refund. If you are over $11,600, but less than the next bracket, which is $47,150. So between eleven six and $47,150, your tax bracket is 12%. If you are between $47,150 and $100,525, your tax bracket is 22%. And this is your total income, guys, remember. Total income, not just your reselling. If you have other income, this can move you up in the brackets. If you have a couple businesses, that's all gonna be combined, uh, depending on how your company's set up. Tax bracket over 100,525 up to 191,950 is a 24% tax bracket. If you make over $191,000 but less than 243, you're 32% tax bracket. If you make more than 243,000 and less than 609, you're 35%. And the highest tax bracket is everyone over 609,000, which is a 37% tax bracket. So people say the government takes half of your money. It's just not the case. It's over 37% is the highest or over 600 grand is 37%, the highest tax bracket. Most people don't fall into that. Most people don't fall into the 35% tax bracket either, which is almost $250,000. The majority of people are going to fall between 22% and 32%, between that 47,000 and that 191. I would imagine most people fall in the 22 to 24%. The problem is if you live in a state that has state taxes, say 8% or 10%, say you're somebody who made that 100 grand 24%, you could easily move up to that 32% tax bracket. I live in a state with no state income tax. Florida's amazing for that. There's other states that are the same. Um, so my tax bracket is what this number is. So don't forget, Let's say that I made 200 grand this year. Let's just throw a number out there. I would be in the 32% tax bracket. So $200,000, if we pull up our little calculator and we do that times 32%, 
Well, I would owe $64,000 to the IRS. However, I have expenses. I might easily be able to, we already know the standard deductions, like what did we say it was, 14, 15 grand. I might be able to pull out 20, $25,000 worth of expenses. And I would only owe the IRS 39 grand of my $200,000, which means overall, I'd only pay 19.5% taxes on my money. The IRS would keep 20% legally, totally legally. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and that is for individuals. If you are a joint filer, we can look that. Uh, two people together under 23 grand, 200 is 10%. Uh, between 23 and 94,000 is 12%. You can be a couple who makes $94,000 and your tax bracket is 12%. If you make between 94,000 and 201, you're 22%. You could be a couple who makes $180,000 a year and you're only at 22% and then you could have expenses. If your 24% tax bracket is between 201 and 383 and then your tax bracket over $383,000 is 32% up to 487. Your 35% tax bracket is between 487 and 731, and your 37% tax bracket is over $731,000 as a married couple. So you could be a married couple bringing home just under $201,000, and your tax bracket is only 22%. You can make 200 grand and only pay 22%, which if we do that math on that is only 44,000, and if you've got, as a joint filer, you can come up with $20,000, and expenses, you only pay twenty four grand on your two hundred thousand dollars. A couple could get away with paying twelve percent legally per the tax bracket. So as you guys can see, depending on your expenses, depending on your bracket, you could only end up paying the IRS 10, 15, 20 percent of your income. Use these tax brackets, learn them, talk to a CPA. I can't give you official advice, but this is kind of a good idea to know exactly whereabouts you are. You're gonna be in this percentage, but if you have expenses, you're gonna be even less. So with that said, I appreciate everyone watching. Welcome to 2024. I'll have all kinds of great new videos out for you all year long. Make sure you drop a like, comment on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check me out on TikTok. Casey Rockstar Flipper on Instagram is Rockstar Flipper. I appreciate to have you over there as well. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy your 2024. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you next time.